Okay, we are back. This is the last stage of how to groom your livestock guardian dog. What we've done, we've done our pre-blowout. We've done our bath, our condition, our spray, the towel dry, and we've blown him actually like 100% dry. So now this is the last stage. This is our brush out and finish. So we'll go over the tools that you'll need. Um, and you, you won't necessarily need um, every single one of these tools, but we'll just go over them. This one is going to be your mat breaker, mat splitter. So if they did have mats and clumped up area, you would use this to demat them. This is actually razor blades. So those will actually cut the fur. So as you can see, those are razor, they will actually cut you. They can actually cut your dog. You have to be very, very careful. We'll go over how to use this in a second. So this right here is going to be perfect for your Anatolian Shepherds. Um, if they've got like clumped up undercoat that just did not release, I find um, Pyrenees and double coated breeds that have been um, shaved previously have really stuck undercoat that you have to really work at to get out and hopefully we can correct that you know later um, with correct grooming. Um, but this, I'll show you how to use this one. This is actually just an undercoat rake. Um, you can see there's nothing sharp about this at all. Um, these are uh, just metal dowels. Um, the next one is going to be just a regular pen brush. This is really great for finishing. Um, it kind of gets the fine little tangles off. This is not going to really do much um, except for the long type guard hair uh, to get the fine like little t tiny tangles and to straighten the hair. This will actually, this is your slicker brush. This is like the monster of them all. I use this every dog, every day. Um, just love it. The slicker brushes, uh, the, the needles come out, they go. They're not going to hurt your dog. Um, they kind of like the way it feels. But this is going to be to uh, do a once-over good brush down to the skin. Um, and to follow up with, I can't stress enough, a comb. A simple metal comb. So we'll go over now on how and where to use what. So when you've got your dog prepped and you're ready to start brushing, um, just wanted you to notice like this, y'all saw the before video, all we've done, we've not brushed him to this point. And if, if you can see how thin his coat already is, you can see his skin. I don't know, just get in there. You can see that is skin. So what this has done is created air in the coat and it's gonna act like an air conditioner. When he is hot, he will puff this coat up and his skin can breathe. It'll trap air inside here. Otherwise, with all that compaction, what would happen is he would overheat. You were right. Like I, it, it is very concerning. People are like, what do you do? And people are like, don't shave. But they don't tell you, well, what do you do? Like, because you do not want all that trapped fur in here. It's not necessarily the length here. Um, he's just as cool as in your thought process of shaving this down, but we have not ruined his coat from previous sheds. So um, you, you just, you want to be able to, run your fingers through and see no, no clump parts. So I can't really show you how to demat. I can come back with future videos on dogs um, you know, that I've got in here with grooming and actually show you a full brush out. But I'll just go over the theory. So as you see, Catherine is using the slicker brush and she, there's the slicker brush, and she's brushing the opposite way the dog's hair is growing. And this is going to get any loose undercoat, any loose hairs that might um, have been stuck. So you'll see, there's a little bit. She's, you know, we've done a lot of blowing. Um, back here, it really gets clumped and matted in the britches. So that's when you would use this mat splitter. We're gonna pretend that he's clumped and matted. We're going to insert the mat splitter in, and then we're gonna saw it. And you're gonna saw it back and forth. Put it into the mat, saw it back and forth. This is how you would break up those britches and the, the rear end that's gets so clumpy mats are kinda of hanging off of it. You'll use this to go under that mat and these back britches, and you're gonna saw it kinda of back and forth. You don't wanna pull it, you wanna saw. So this is cutting through the hair. Of course, he's not matted, so that that's kinda, of pointless but that's kind of showing you how to use it now we're going to show you the undercoat rake um, you see how she was doing long brushes with the long strokes with the slicker brush she's going to do short she's going to do short little jerks like this and this is going to work the undercoat out so this is how you would use the undercoat rake is short little jerks and you would do this all over starting at the back of the neck working down of course he's not really got undercoat now 
um, that's compacted so there's not really much um, going to be coming out but um, this is how you'd use this it's short you would hold the skin taut like she's doing see her one hand is holding the skin taut and she's doing short you're not going to want to kind of rake down the entire length you're going to do short maybe three inch little strokes and this is going to be getting that thick thick undercoat out I don't believe in furminators and fancy tools we're talking these tools are cheap you can get them anywhere um, the, you can even, there's different ones you can use um, you do not need to use furminators and different things but you can see that did get a little of that undercoat that's left in there out um, but we've already done most of that work through <coughs> just our bathing um, so when it's all said and done we've got our comb and you can always check your work you want this comb to slide down and you don't want it to get caught up on anything if there's some thickness and your comb just doesn't go through like butter like this then you're going to want to continue working in that area but you're wanting you know you're wanting this comb do you see how it just easily glides through there's nothing there's no undercoat there's nothing getting it hung up on anything like that so this is what you're wanting um, you're wanting a nice clean coat so with those those tools there that is how you groom your livestock guardian dog we keep them cool for the summer Hodor won't get touched again for another couple months. Um, as a puppy, puppies do require just a little bit more work because all of this, as you can see, that's all puppy. That's a kind of dead puppy hair that's getting caught, uh, you know, amongst each other. And you can see how it's thin. Do you see how it's kind of thicker underneath, like right in there? It's thicker. So that's going to grow out and be a nice adult coat. Um, that's all just dead puppy hair. So we have to groom him a little bit more. Um, but it's, it's worth it to kind of maintain a proper coat to where four times a year he's going to shed out. And he's going to shed out all this nasty, dirty hair. And we want him to kind of do it naturally. What we're doing is we're just kind of assisting it. If we were to shave him, we would actually ruin the dexterity of the coat. What happens is the undercoat that we see actually becomes one with the guard hair and they grow at the same rate so that undercoat will come in the guard hairs will come in and then they're going to grow together so when it comes time to shed there's nothing for the undercoat to shed off of so it entangles around the guard hairs and that's the matted compaction that you'll notice in dogs that have been shaved people ask all the time well why can't we shave them they will be cooler shaved they're matted well no they're compacted it's a it's a big difference um, from being truly matted and being compacted with undercoat that needs to be blown out and properly used um, so if you have any questions feel free to pm me um, send me messages. Um, you can comment on, on any of these posts. Um, I can go into further detail. I can also post different videos of actually dogs that are um, truly compacted and kind of not, you know, kept up as well as we keep our dogs um, and try to like show you videos of those working through areas that would be kind of hard, but we'll show you, tr you know, tips and tricks on that. So anyway, well, it's been great. This is Hodor. He's tired and ready to go home. And this was my lovely assistant, Kat. She's over here trying her best to get them all done up so we can go home. And we'll see y'all later. Great. Have a great night. Thanks.